Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to use DLSS4 Upscaler with Newcom 9's Mod FSR Frame Generation or OptiScaler XCSS Frame Generation. This guide will work on any PC with an RTX GPU. I will be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. We will also do a quick comparison among the in-game FSR Frame Generation, Newcom 9 Mod FSR Frame Generation and XCSS Frame Generation. Newcom 9's mod FSR frame generation produces some noticeable ghosting around our character's feet during fast visual motion when they are standing on their cloud. XCSS frame generation does not produce this ghosting effect. In-game FSR frame generation simply gets disabled when we summon our cloud, leading to a very jarring experience as the FPS gets cut down by almost half. I have already done my testing. In-game FSR frame generation had the highest latency. XCSS frame generation had a slightly better latency than Newcom 9's mod FSR frame generation. XCSS frame gen uses XCSS low latency mode, whereas Newcom 9's mod uses NVIDIA Reflex. In-game FSR frame generation is not compatible with Reflex. For using XCSS frame generation, you need to use the latest OptiScaler test build version 0.9.0 preview 1 available on OptiScaler's Discord server. I'll give its link in the description. Click on the dot 7z link here. Installing Nukem 9's mod is completely optional. If you don't want to use it, you don't need to download it. But I'll be comparing it with XCSS frame generation. So I'll be installing it as well. We'll be using build 0.130 universal version of Nukem 9's mod. Available on Nexus Mod's website. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on manual download under universal. Click on slow download here. I'll be using NVIDIA app to override DLSS upscaler to the latest version. Just need to set the render preset 2K in order to activate the transformer model of DLSS. We'll be verifying the upscaler's details using DLSS debug overlay. I'll activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Emos. Copy the lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter, yes, select the file, right click, open with notepad, paste the lines here, click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file, this will activate DLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable it, replace the number 4 here with 0, file, save, close, run the registry file, I'll revert the change as I want to activate the DLSS debug overlay, select the file, right click. Open. Click on Yes. OK. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Open its archive file. Copy the highlighted files. AMD Fidelity FX DX12. XCSS files. Fake NV API files. Replace Reflex with XCLL OptiScaler files. Need to paste them in the game's install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open B1 folder. Binaries folder, Win64 folder, paste everything here. Just change the name of optiscaler.dll file to txgi.dll. Now I'll override TLSS subscaler via NVIDIA app. Open NVIDIA app. Click on graphics. Click on the three dots here. Click on refresh. Here, all of the games installed on your PC will show up. Look for Black Myth Wokong, there it is. Scroll down until you find this setting. DLSS Overwrite Model Presets. Click on the pencil icon next to it. Select this option. Use different settings for each DLSS technology. Click on the drop down bar below Super Resolution and select Latest. Click on Apply. And that's it. Now I'll install Newcom 9's mod. Open the mod's archive file. Open DLL underscore version folder. Copy this DLL file. DLSS G2FSR3 AMD is better. Open the game's install directory. B1 folder, binaries, Win64, paste the file here. Enabling hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is not a mandatory requirement for using XCSS frame generation, but you need to enable this setting if you want to use Newcom 9 Smart. Right click anywhere on the desktop, click on display settings, then click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings, enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting for here. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on Manage Steady Settings. Click on Program Settings. From this drop down bar, select Black Myth Wokong. Scroll down to the end. Enable VSync from here. Click on Apply. 
my monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This step is optional. Click on Display here and check this setting. I'll use NVIDIA's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. RTSS or Afterburner can affect the functioning of OptiScaler mod, so won't be using them. OptiScaler even comes with its own performance overlay, I'll enable it as well. Display settings, just make sure display mode is set to borderless, required for using XCSS frame generation, resolution, full HD, no FPS cap applied, VSync is off, motion blur disabled, very important. I'll be targeting 60 to 70 FPS, base FPS. Upscaler DLSS, super resolution value 65, basically the quality preset of DLSS, no access to frame generation at the moment. Ray tracing is off, view distance set to high, post effects quality set to low, rest of the settings medium. There is another motion blur setting in this game, just click on the second last option here, motion blur disabled. Here we are in, there is a character. Here we are getting close to 72 FPS, this is the last chapter, features a big open area for us to explore. Semi open world, FPS is close to 70, check out the DLSS debug hole in the bottom left corner. Version of the scalar 310.3.0 render preset uses K, DLSS auto exposure setting is on. This setting helps in reducing the coasting around objects in the environment, also fixes the texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects. Octiscaler menu, open it using the insert key, upscale is DLSS, no frame generation. Ok, first I'll enable in-game FSR frame generation, open graphic settings, need to change the upscaler to FSR and set frame generation to this value, apply back to the game, open Octiscaler menu. Yeah, input chain to FSR3. I'm still using DLSS upscaler. Yeah, FPS increased to around 125. Can observe the added amount of smoothness, but latency is on the higher side. It's quite high. I'll just summon my cloud. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. Yeah, FPS dropped to around 70. FSR frame generation simply got disabled when I summoned the cloud. Now I'll show you how to use Nukem 9's mod. Just set the upscaler to DLSS. Open OptiScaler menu. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source and select Nukem's DLSS G. Click on save INI. Restart the game. Play. Now open the graphics settings. You should be able to access the frame generation setting. Just set it to this value so that the setting below frame generation becomes inaccessible like this. This will enable DLSS frame generation which automatically enables NVIDIA reflex that's why we cannot access this setting. Here we are in FPS increased to around 120 can observe the added amount of smoothness the controls they feel more responsive with Nukem 9's mod all thanks to reflex which helps in cutting down the latency. Show you the debug view. Enable debug view. No hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image except for DLSS debug overlay. And just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Smoothing effect of FSR should work properly. Displays are working properly for all of the images. I'll also enable OptiScaler's performance overlay, expand FPS overlay section. Check the setting FPS overlay enabled. Click on the drop down bar next to overlay type and select full plus graph, save and I close. Ok now I'll summon my cloud, keep an eye on the FPS counter. FSR frame generation won't get disabled, yeah we are still getting close to 120 FPS. Now I'll show you a graphical artifact related to frame generation, just observe our character's feet when I spin the camera. Yeah, you can see a ghosting like effect on the cloud around my feet. 
mod fsr frame generation produces this ghosting okay now i'll switch to xcss frame generation open mod menu click on the drop down bar next to fg source and select dlssg via streamline click on the drop down bar next to fg output and select xcfg here you can see the current method under frame rate reflex save and I close restart the game make sure super resolution is set to dlss and frame generation is set to this option it enables dlss frame generation we are in open optiscale menu check the setting active under frame generation xcfg frame time graph became thick this means xcss frame gen is working check the debug view you'll see these purple sidebars they are flickering i'll use intel's inspector app to verify the status of xcss features launch xcss inspector app click on show all processes look for black myth wukong or the game running in the background there it is double click xcss frame generation running xcll context low latency mode is on another context not sure for what back to the game yeah, fps is close to 115 with xcss frame gen controls feel way more responsive than the in-game fsr frame gen okay i'll just summon my cloud keep an eye on the fps counter yeah frame generation effect did not get disabled now just observe my character's feet during fast visual motion no ghosting is produced around the feet when my character is standing on their cloud ghosting effect was produced in the case of Newcom 9's mod FSR frame generation fly around the map 100 to 107 fps this game still suffers from traversal status that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day